qualify if you're there's there's some programs that you're if you're a part of some of the other energy discount programs or if you're on the CalFresh program. How about care credit? I'm sorry? Care credit? If you're on the care discount? Yeah. Yeah, you would likely But that goes to the PG and E, right? Yeah, yeah. So you would likely qualify for if you can qualify for the care program, uh, you would probably qualify for this program. And so you can. So you get generation credit to PG and E because you're using Peninsula, right? So you're getting a, a, a generation credit from them from it because instead of paying that. So they take it out from PGE mm -hmm. and credit, uh, and you will have to instead pay your uh, peninsula. Yeah, yeah. So, um, are you asking about on the, on the bill? Yeah, on the bill. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm actually with the peninsula right now. Yeah. So there's a significant change after I shifted from PGE to. Right, it's 0.143. Okay, good. 1.3 for me. Uh -huh. I get charged 1.43 by Peninsula. Okay, Which good. is 1 point, uh, uh, 0.143 instead of 0.157 uh -huh. for BGNE. I used to get I used to get charged 0.157 by BGNE mm -hmm. with my 600 kilowatt per month. Mm -hmm. That's how much consumption you power I use mm -hmm. for a monthly average. And I got lower at point one four three with Peninsula. Good. I just yeah. realized that now. I thought like, that you're oh, seeing that on your bill. Huge difference. I used to pay like three hundred for my bill, three twenty, three hundred, three hundred, and now it's like two hundred, one ninety. Because Peninsula. Yeah. Lower down. The only expensive for me is my gas. Yes. My electric charge now is 68. My gas is 149. Uh, well, we can help you if, if you can switch to uh, electric supplies. We can help you with that. Uh -huh. So 4,000 uh, rebate from PCE plus uh, uh, other rebates from the government? From the yeah, so you would, if you got 4,000 from us, you would likely qualify for a rebate from PGE, which is separate. So you would get an additional four thousand from them, and then oh, another four thousand from yeah. Them. And then depending on yeah, there are other state programs that you could include, but it would be likely at least eight thousand. So income guideline here is higher than the you know than the federal and uh, state income guideline mm -hmm. for public programs. So mm -hmm. Definitely, if you could, you know qualify for you know, mm -hmm. for our state programs. Too. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it, it says uh, used vehicle only? Yeah, yeah, so this rebate is for used vehicles specifically. Are there used vehicles now? Many used uh, electric vehicles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're seeing that with all the new models going on on the market, then there'll be increasingly more electric, used electric vehicles. Use electric vehicles. Yeah, I know like last year if you were looking for a car due to the supply chain issues, it was very difficult to, to get a car, both electric vehicles and gas powered cars. So that you know, can be a challenge as well. But we're seeing that the we're hoping that you know, there'll be more more options and, and vehicles on the market. Why use vehicles on the I'm just curious. Why use uh, electric vehicles on the Yeah, why the question is why use electric vehicles? It was a decision made by our, our board of directors. And I imagine it's because they wanted to benefit, they thought that the rebate would benefit people who are on the market for a used electric vehicle, so people who you know, might
might have a, a lower budget for, for their car purchase, they wanted to help those people out. That's what I need to do. But yeah, yeah, we, we need. yeah, we don't have anything for a new vehicle right now. <coughs> Transitioning into the home, we also have rebates for swapping out.